even though you see Spider-Man, this is basically Danny Phantom. Let's go ahead and get into this, bro. Have you ever wondered what it would be like if Spider-Man was dead? Danny Phantom is a show about a young superhero named Danny Fenton who it's a phantom. He really needs a better alias. He has the power to transform into his edgy Smash Bros. palette swap at any time. He can walk through walls, disappear, and fly. He's much more unique than the other guy. <laughs> Danny's parents are infamous ghost hunters who accidentally turned their own son. Bruh, I ain't gonna lie. I forgot how, they, how Danny Cutton became a ghost. Like, wasn't she made or something? What happened with her? Like, I forgot what happened into a ghost which is usually considered a crime Danny has to catch all the ghosts while his parents try to turn him ghost from a half ghost to a whole ghost but he can't tell them he's a ghost because then they'll attack him wait luckily his cool sister Jazz finds out about spookum magookums and starts helping him out halfway through season one Whoa, wait what that's right Danny Phantom has changing status quo and plot progression before the season one finale that's completely unheard of Nice to see a cartoon changing the industry in this contemporary year of 2004. <laughs> also helping Danny are his friends Sucker and Tam. Sucker <laughs> likes machines and meat, and Tam is a goth who hangs out with Danny and Sucker for reasons that are still unclear to me. Danny and Tam secretly have feelings for one another because they're protagonists. Hey, it's a good thing they don't have chemistry class together or they'd be <laughs> failing. <laughs> hey, you know what I'm saying? Up top. Aww. With puberty at his back and friends at his side, Danny learns that fighting ghosts is hard, but growing up just might be a little harder. Ah, coming soon to the CW. Speaking of soap operas, meet Danny's nemesis, Vlad Masters, a villain so over the top that everyone just thinks he's kidding when he twirls his mustache and tries to hit on Danny's mom from his cheese castle. Contrast with Valerie, a kick-ass anti-hero with sympathetic motivations and a really interesting dynamic with Danny, who ends up being a better antagonist than Vlad and a much better love interest than Tam. <laughs> Oops. It just goes to show that the ones who love Danny the most are those that keep trying to kill him. Marvel at the comic book-styled rogues gallery, filled with interesting motivations motivations and personality that eventually just trickles down to a game of how many times can Skulker show up this week by the end of season two. Whenever he fights Ghost, Danny never forgets his signature catchphrase. I'm going go. die. Rebreather. Ah, Ghost Boy, you're just in time for me to ruin Jack and Mary Fenton's anniversary cruise. And once their relationship has been scuttled, they'll get a divorce! Change of plans. It's time for some cruise control. Fool! You've fallen for my trap hook, lion, and sinker! Now, prepare to sleep with the bitches! Sorry, must have forgotten my waterproof pajamas. I'll have to pass. Huh. I might be a diver, but when I'm done with you, you'll be a diver! <laughs> it's really unclear where the ghosts come from because sometimes they're actual dead people with documented existences and other times they're just ghost tornadoes. Season 1 sets the bar with its constantly changing status quo and great episodic villains. Then Watches season two straddles the bar and cringes season three bangs its nuts on it before falling off entirely. Enjoy the interactions of the genuinely charming and interesting Fenton family, but only after every three episodes of Sucker and Pam had a fight because she's a vegetarian and doesn't meet his expectations. <laughs> Coming soon, CW. Danny Phantom is a charming cartoon that combines the fun of comic book superheroes with surprisingly well-written depictions of life as a teenager, even if the rushed ending left us missing a panel or two. But hey, at least the show will live on in the disproportionate ratio of an incredibly bizarre and sexual fan art. Fan art? No. Thank you all for watching, and a huge thank you to Butch Hartman for letting me make fun of his show, and for designing and voicing Rebreather. If you want to see more... Kimi no tori ko ni natte shimasu